Welcome to Sidey Institute guys. In our today's tutorial, we're going to answer question 19 on tutorial sheet 1 on binary operation. So what in this video till to the end is like rewarding yourself with all information you need to know about it, binary operation because this question co contains a whole concept you need to know about it, binary operation. So let's get started. So um, this is the question which we are given S to B is equal to this. This is what is in the question, but when we expand this, we have this. Okay. So when they ask you, this is question one, is a star binary on all real numbers? So to know if a uh, star is binary, we need to try in all real numbers. If we take any number from all real numbers, are we going to have uh, a real number at the end? So for example, if we say a is equal to zero, or we say b is equal to 1 or b is equal to 0. When we repress into this, we are going to have what? A real number. Because this is a linear, a linear expression or linear uh, expression. When we take any number from the real na, na, from the from the set of real numbers, we will still have a real number. In short, there is no number that can make this kind of an expression to be what? And it defined. So you are going to say yes star star is binary okay let's do question two so to know if a a, a is commutative we need to test this a star b should equal to b star a so i'm going to take n two numbers i decided to take zero or i take one star zero to be equal to 0 star 1. This is true, it's same as 1 plus 0 is same as 0 plus 1. So whenever there is a, a we are going to repress 1, and while there is 0, and while there is b, we are going to repress 0. Okay, so we come to this simplified one. So we say 4, 1 squared, minus 12, 1, 0 times 1 plus 4, b is 0 squared so in this kind we have 4 minus 0 plus 0 which is actually 4 now let's test b star a so meaning where there is b we are going now to depress 0 and where there is a 1 so we come to say 4 to 0 squared minus 12 a is 0 b is 1 plus 4 b is 1 squared so here we have 0 minus 0 plus 4 so this is just showing us the left hand side s to b s to b has given us 4 and b star a has also given us 4 so you can conclude to say that um star is is commutative so this is how you can show if what if a star is commutative let's do question three all right uh so question three is asking if a star is associ um associative so first we take note over what we were answering here we know that uh, one star zero and uh, 0 star 1 was giving us 4. That's why we said this to be uh, commutative. So to find if star is uh, associative, this is just the same. Like what is going to change is just the order. So A star B, then A star C. So what we are going to change is the order. Here we will start with A. This is the one we, we put in the bracket. A star B. And here we will start with B star C. This is how you show a commutative, uh, uh, I mean an, associ an uh, associative law. Then here is for commutative law. We use A star B to be equal to B star A. So in this case, we are going to let A to be equal to 0 
I like using zero because it will make our work simple. Then C to be what? Eh? To be one. You can't make all to be zeros. So here we are going to start. We will start with the left hand side. Okay. We will start with the left hand side. So A star B is same as zero star zero. Okay. Zero star zero. Now in zero whenever there is a and b here we will still have zero okay we will still have zero so s to b s to b is equal to zero to zero which is equal to zero so we are going to replace here zero where there is s to b then we are going to have a star c but a c we know that is is one now from what we found 0 star 1 is actually 4. Okay. This is actually 0 star 1. From question 1, we found it to be 4. So this is our left hand side. We go to our right hand side. Okay. What do we know about our right hand side? We are going to start with B star C. B star C. So. After that now, what are we going to do? Okay. So, B is the C. B is 0. Then C is 1. What is 0 star 1? According to question 1, 0 star 1 was actually 4. Okay. So, what we do next? We, we remain with A. Star. B is the C is 4. Now, A is actually 0. So, we are going to do A star 4 0 star 4 so we are going to replace in the equation this a uh, we uh in in our first question we have been given a star b so when you see this they are just telling that a is 0 then b is 4 so i'm going to replace where that is 4 we say 4 a is 0 12 here we have 0 and 1 uh, b is 4 plus 4 b is 4 we square okay so here we're going to have 0 minus 0 plus 4 times 4 is 4 then uh, 4 times 4 and uh, 4 times 4 is 16 because 4 squared is 16 then 4 4 times 16 we have 64 to our right and this side we have we have uh, 64 so now you can even tell to say uh since our our left hand side is not equal to is not equal to our right hand side then uh you can conclude to say star star is not is not associative okay this is what you do Okay, so now how can we evaluate this? Okay, so we, we are going to start with this, which is in the brackets. So it is what we are looking for. So 3 to represent A and 2 to represent B. So we are going to replace here in the equation. So we are going to have 4, 3 squared minus 12, A to be 3, B to be 2, plus 4, B is 2 squared. Okay, so now we evaluate 4 times uh, 3 squared we have 36 12 times 3 times uh, 2 we have negative of 72 then we had this two we have there we have 16 k okay. so we have 16 then once you do 36 minus 72 plus 16 we have negative 20 Okay, so this is our, our 3 star 2 is negative 20. But our question is to find, is to find uh, 3 star 2 star 5. Where 3 star 2 are found to be negative 20, then star 5. So this is what we are going to find next. Okay. So this to mean that where there is A we put negative 21 and where there is B we put 5. So 
we are going to have 4 negative 20 squared minus 2 negative 20 then we have 5 plus 4 then 5 squared here we have 1600 here we have positive we are positive here we are going to have 1200 then here we have 100 hudging up we are going to have 2900 so this is our a actually our this kind of an expression we are asked to evaluate okay so question five if we say negative two star k is equal to 80 it means we are going to repress where there is two where there is a we put negative two and here like the same way we are doing then we equate to 80 so we are going to have four negative two squared minus 12 negative two times k plus four k squared is equal to 80 what do we have next okay looking at this we can divide both sides by four we can divide four everywhere so that we can simplify this okay once we we divide four everywhere we are going to remain with we are going to remain with four four plus six k you can four plus six k then into this we are going to have k squared is equal to 4 into 80 we are going to have 20 okay what we do we bring 20 to the other side we are going to have k squared plus 6k minus minus 16 okay which is equal to zero so this is now a quadratic equation we are going to solve okay looking at the two numbers which we can add we have six and we multiply by negative six we can find that these two numbers are just um I just uh, 8 8 and negative 2 okay so to solve a quadratic equation we say k squared minus negative 2k plus 8k minus 16 is equal to 0 like this so what we do next we factorize by terms so we say k minus 2 plus 8 is k minus 2 we have this so we can make now two equation to say one will be k plus eight to be equal to zero the other one will be k minus two to be equal to zero okay now solving for x we have k is equal to negative eight here we have k is equal to two so this is how you solve this kind of a question so it's it is very simple you just have rights like an application of what of um, how to find the uh, how to evaluate binary operation so our last question is asking if an inverse uh, exists in in this kind of an expression which we are given so how do we find an inverse first we need to find an identity so if an identity exists then even an identity uh even the inverse do what do exist so an inverse is explained by e or we say uh star x star e should be equal x okay so that means that any number we use with this star e should also when we repress into the main we are going to have x okay so we depress in our in our expression there where there is a we put x squared minus 12 x times e plus 4 4 e squared okay so this can be simplified to be 4x squared minus 12 12 e plus 4 e squared actually 12 x e so you can look at this is not equal this is not equal to x so you can say that an identity doesn't exist hence the inverse doesn't exist too okay so no inverse so guys, this is the end of our today's tutorial. Consider subscribing.